Hey guys, it is a long time since I filmed, well, at least it feels that way. Uh, maybe it's only been a couple weeks, but it's kind of feeling like a time warp right now with in the lockdown and we're just spending so much time at home. But something really exciting happened and I got something that I've wanted for like literally years and I finally bought it. And it is this glorious sewing machine. When I was still in New York, I wanted a sewing machine. Since I've gotten here, I'm like, now I have time, I can get a sewing machine. And it just never happened until I was like, I need some lockdown hobbies. I need to start making stuff with my hands again. So I finally did it and I got a sewing machine. I really wanted to try something out, uh, something kind of easy and also with fabric I didn't really care that much about. And I found this dress on Will Haven, which is basically the Craigslist of Austria for three euros and it also came with a free shirt. So this is the shirt that came with it. It's like this uh, tank that's like a stretchy material. I'll put it on and show you a few clips of it. But I thought this could also be a really good thing to thrift flip as well. But I haven't exactly figured out what to do with it. I've been noticing on social media there is like a resurge of the 90s and I am all for that. Leave me a comment of what you think I should do with that shirt because I think it has a lot of potential to be that 90s gem that we all love. For three euros, I can really play around with it and if I totally mess it up, it's okay. But I'm actually really happy with the results and I'm totally gonna wear these pieces out. So I'm gonna show you guys how it all came together. So I started with a skirt that I already knew I loved the shape and length of to use as my base pattern. This dress was in such good condition to begin with and had a really nice structure and I could see where I needed to make my cuts and do as little work as possible to get what I wanted and that's something really good to look out for if you're starting your own thrift flip. Start easy. <laughs> My favorite crop tank was also a pretty good way of getting an idea of how long the jacket should be. I learned that you'll be trying on your clothes many, many times as you go through this process. So just be prepared for that. This dress had two belt loops, so I grabbed my seam rippers to take them off. Seam rippers are definitely something I would suggest getting if you are getting into sewing. I have used them quite a bit on this project, and even just trying to take off these belt loops took me a shameful amount of time, but I did get them off, and I did learn throughout this project how to use these seam rippers a little bit better. Having dedicated fabric scissors is great to have, but the ones that I ended up getting <laughs> were pretty terrible. So definitely pay a couple extra bucks to get something a little bit nicer, uh, which I actually ended up doing later on in this project. So following my pattern of my skirt, I just pinned the sides so I could get the shape I wanted. When it's inside out, you can see how the folds now make it the shape that you want, and you'll cut those off later. I also had a very large slit to deal with, which I will tackle later. I tested different length options for the jacket and pinned it where I liked it. I found it easier to do this while I was wearing it, but just be careful, you may poke yourself. Here's the next thing I suggest everybody should have, and it's one of these flexible tape measures. I just made sure that where I had freeform pinned actually was pretty even throughout the jacket and just double checked the measurements. When 
I did manage to find some perfect matching thread. Luckily here in Austria, the lockdown is beginning to end and small stores are starting to open back up. So I grabbed my face mask and headed to the local thread shop with a little fabric sample so I can make sure I got the right thread. So I started sewing the easier piece, which was just hemming the bottom edge of the jacket that I cut. I just went with a simple single stitch. It is a stretchy fabric, so I did consider using like more of a zigzag but the rest of the jacket had a lot of construction with a single stitch, so I thought it would be okay for this. And then I just cut the excess folded fabric left inside the jacket. So continuing with the skirt, I sewed along the pin area to give my skirt the right shape and fit. I also sewed down the skirt so I could close up the slit a bit. So after that, I tried it on and this happened. It kind of puffed at the sides where I had just sewn it, but the slit was fixed. I also tested how it looked with a simple hem on the top. There was already existing darts on the skirt that looked like it was folded over slightly and then stitched back down on itself so it would lay flat or at least that's how it looks like. It could have been a blind stitch, but I don't know how to do those yet. So I basically just tried to copy that as best as I could by folding it onto itself and sewing down. I also did a zigzag stitch just to seal up any of those loose ends inside the skirt from where I cut the excess fabric. And last was the top hem. Or at least I thought, because after I was done, it didn't look quite as I had planned. The fit was too big now, and it got kind of stretched out from that stitch. Basically, I spent a lot of time with my seam ripper again, and took that out, which I will talk about at the end of the video. But that was pretty much the last step, so here's how it all came out.
I'm really happy how it came out. I did learn a lot of things along the way. I think the jacket came out super well. Like I can just like throw this on with anything and wear. The hemline is at least hidden in here. <laughs> so, you know, it might not be perfect, um, but it stayed together pretty well, which is a simple single stitch. And I'll totally be using this this summer because the color is really nice. And I think it would pair really nicely with dresses as well. The skirt, I'm actually really proud of how it came out, all things considering. I thought I would have a lot more fabric that I had cut off to make a proper belt, but that didn't actually end up happening. Um, the scrap that I did have, I used it more for practicing the different kinds of stitches to see what would work with material, and it was like so unevenly cut that it was not really usable for this. The only thing I really need to change on the skirt is just basically adding some fabric tape in here to keep this pressed down because it looked a lot cleaner like this than with uh, stitching going all the way around because the material is a little bit too stretchy. So I ended up taking the seam out and just keeping the stitches in a few places along the skirt to keep together. But I'm really happy with how my darts went, if you can call that a dart, basically like sewing the whole skirt together. <laughs> and then I also shrunk kind of like how long this slit was. For me, I definitely like my skirts a bit longer just to make them more functional, but I think this would look really cute as like a super, super mini, but that's just not me. So <laughs> that's how it's gonna stay. But yeah, that's my first uh, thrift flip. This is a, one of my many uh, quarantine hobbies that I've kind of gotten into. I also have a couple other random purchases that um, will probably be appearing in upcoming videos. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just been a little tough to get motivated to film some new stuff. You know, the motivation comes and goes and I just wanna go with the flow of that and not like force myself to make stuff. But this made me super excited and I wanted to share it with you guys. Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know what you think of the thrift flip and i uh, hope you're all just staying happy and safe and everything is good by you so thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye <laughs>